Hello, today we are going to learn about transactions and how to perform uh, commit and rollback. Uh, I mean, when and at what situation we are going to perform this commit and rollback uh, operations in a database. This is all we are going to learn. So, before going to the my uh, topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe. Now, let's start. Uh, our transactions okay today's session is transactions so transactions mainly uh, rollback and commit okay so we are going to discuss in this session about these two transactions so first before uh, executing the commands uh, I will explain what is rollback and what is commit and uh, when to execute uh, these uh, commands. These all I will show you. So first I will uh, retrieve the data from company table. So what type of data we have we will just look into it. So just select star from company and then execute it. So how many rows we have that we are going to see now see here we have a data 10 rows we have total okay so now I am going to delete okay delete from uh, company table where id equal to 10 okay 10th row I am going to delete so before see as of now uh, when we are uh, executing the delete, insert, update, these operations, right, we can just do normally. If we don't uh, get it back or we, we don't want to save it uh, permanently, uh, those changes. So, we no need to, um, I mean, uh, perform any transaction type of uh, thing, okay. So, here what we do is, before, ex if you want to retrieve, or which means if you want to roll back those commands, again or if you want to commit it externally then you have to execute begin statement here okay before executing the delete operation you just need to execute the begin so that the transaction session will get started so now you execute this delete operation here okay so now which means we have started one transaction and logged it you can see in dashboard here just refresh it in server activity logs if you see see here this relation company company primary key is this one okay this has been logged which means our transaction is still logged so we can roll back it or else we can commit it so now I'm just going to do rollback which means whatever the deleted data is there right so that will again come back to table uh, just before uh, uh, doing rollback I'll just show you the data which means 10th row should not be there here see which is deleted now I am just going to roll back which means again getting back that row to the table so just roll back it okay now execute this select star from company so that 10th row should come again see here 10th row came right so now if you see in database so dashboard also in server activity logs also it got deleted which means our logged is unlocked which means we have already rolled back it that transaction so this session has been ended here so if you want to perform rollback or commit you have to uh, give begin which means our transaction is started you have to keep it in a session so that the transactions will execute successfully now this is the rollback which means what is already deleted right data that we can again back to the table the data so that is the main purpose of rollback okay now we are going to see commit commit means if you uh, once you delete the row okay then if you give commit means again the data uh, will not come back which means the delete operation is committed which means fully it is executed okay so let's see example so that you will get it 
we have to execute begin statement before doing any operation okay so begin so now our transaction is started okay now just try to execute delete operation again okay just delete it okay now just select star from company execute this so see here 10th row will not be there now if you see in our uh, logs see here it is logged our company table say right this one this has been logged okay now i am not doing rollback i'm just committing it okay so if you commit it then again you can't roll back means our, this delete operation we are committing means permanently we are deleting that row okay just commit this okay so now you just roll back try to roll back it though if you roll back it won't get back because already commit has been done sorry just roll back it it will say there is no transaction is in progress because this session has been ended already and this operation is already committed so there is no transaction is uh, in session to roll back uh, that particular row okay so this is the main uh, meaning of commit and roll back i think you people understood well you see you can just i'll just execute this again select star from so 10th row should not be there because we have given committed okay so this is the main difference between commit and rollback and if you want to perform any transactions the begin statement should be there then only the particular transaction will be there in the session okay so that we can perform rollback or commit uh, operations okay so i think you uh, understand uh, well about this topic okay if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you so much